Good morning to you on this Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We continue with Philippians chapter 2 today from verse 12 and 13. Paul is now giving us a little bit more advice. So then, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Paul is commending the congregation because he knows that they've been obedient not only when he's there, but also when he hasn't been there. And that should be our life. We shouldn't be leading a double life. We shouldn't have a public face and a private face. We should be the same wherever we go. We live in obedience to the word of God. Whatever we're doing, whether people are watching or not watching, somebody knows or doesn't know, we should be doing the work of God. We should be reflecting the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul tells us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Now, that doesn't mean that we are frightened of God. What he's talking about is godly awe, godly fear, that understanding, the reverence, that understanding who we work for, that understanding that Jesus has saved us. But that salvation is not the end point. Salvation is the beginning. We are born again. We are to become holy as he is holy. We are working out our lives with fear and trembling. We should be in awe of God's word. We shouldn't take it lightly. We should realize it's a sword, but we realize it's our strength. But we have this this godly adoration, this godly fear, this godly awe and wonder. And we do everything that we can in order to live a life that honors God and pleases him. Not to earn salvation, we've been given that as a gift. But then we work out the rest of our life, how we walk with Jesus, with that understanding that we want to be holy as he is holy. We want to reflect him more and more. We need our lives to be a light that shines brightly so that God would be glorified in and through us. Because we are children of God. We should be living accordingly. And we can only do so if we walk in the Spirit. We do so when we walk in love. Remember what Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 13, If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels but have not love, I'm just a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. I'm just making a noise. And I can do all sorts of good works, but if they're not done in love and gratitude to God, then it's just a waste of time. It means nothing. So we need to be working on our lives all the time, continuing to become more and more holy, which simply means set apart for God. We live in a filthy and a dirty world. We need to try to remain clean and as close to God and reflecting his love and his image wherever we go, especially at this Christmas time when so few understand the true meaning of Christmas, what has been given to us. A son has been given to us, a saviour, who is Christ the Lord. Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you for this new day. We ask your blessing over this day. We ask, Lord, that you would shine your light in and through us. May we reflect your love wherever we go. May we be obedient to you, whether someone's watching or not watching. May we not live a double life, but live a life that is open, a life that is honoring to you. We thank you so much for everything that you have given to us. We're just a few short days away from Christmas. That wonderful time when we celebrate your incarnation. We pray, Lord, that many would come to understand this truth. We pray for the country in which we live in. We pray, Lord, that we continue to have the religious freedom that we have. We pray that you would give your wisdom to those in authority that they would know to do the right thing. We pray, Lord, for those who live under corrupt governments. We pray for your mercy. We pray for the Ukraine. We pray for an end to the war. We pray, Lord, that you would pour out your Holy Spirit upon the church, that you would strengthen her and renew her. May her light shine brightly this Christmas season. We pray, Lord, for those who don't know you yet. We ask that this season be a time when many would come to know you. We pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for the poor. We pray, Lord, for the lonely. We pray for those who grieve in the morning. We pray for those who have suffered loss. We pray, Lord, for those who just simply need some comfort. We ask, Lord, that you would use us in whatever way you can, to be your disciples, to be your representatives. May we live as children of the light. So live in and through us, Lord. Lead us and guide us. And hear us now as we pray, our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, may the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all.